Conference NBA Playoffs Round 1 continues. The Timberwolves have set the tone of the series up two games to one. Can they maintain their composure and take a commanding 3-1 lead? Now, the test awaits as they face off against the Phoenix Suns. Round 1 of the NBA Playoffs continues. Glad you could join us. It's Game 4 of the Western Conference Quarterfinals, live on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And, of course, David Aldridge is joining us tonight from the sideline. D.A., it's all yours. Thank you, Kevin. Carl Anthony Towns is determined to make it work in Minnesota. He says, to build a legacy, we got to win. I'm going to do everything I possibly can to keep step by step, brick by brick, building something a culture that's going to stand here for a long time. It has required a lot of patience, guys. It has indeed, David, thanks. You look at Minnesota. Greg, they have home court now. What do they need to do to take advantage of this opportunity? And Kevin, these are the games where, you know, I feel like you need to make big shots because the teams are close. One or two plays either way could decide this thing. That's why you have to value every possession early. And now the opening lineup for Phoenix. The star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there. Aiton is at the center with Johnson next to him. Here we go. And it's Bridges in at the three slot. And for Minnesota, they've got Carl Anthony Towns. Anthony Edwards out there with D'Angelo Russell. And it's Vanderbilt in at the four-man position. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points. But the D, just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Now, here is Russell. Here's the screen. Pocket six to the paint. Here's Vanderbilt. And he can't bank that one in. Booker looking around. Aiton sets the pick for Booker. Drives from 16. Nothing that time. He's uh, 0 for 2. Boy, he's got to be kicking himself for failing to make that shot. That's money. Passes it to Russell. It's deflected. It's stolen by Johnson. Ball outside. We play just over a minute here in the first. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Chris Paul plays with a competitive fire that is actually infectious. I mean, even in the latter stages of his career, he is still getting it done at a high level. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Andrew Beverly, he's checked in for Minnesota. And both free throws good from Paul. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Russell passes to Towns. Out to Edwards. Shot clock at six. Everly with the ball. Now guarded by Aiton. Here's Edwards. Shot clock reset for the Timberwolves. And using that wide reach to reject shots. Aiden can't afford to throw up weak stuff around the big fella. Bridges outside. Phoenix no good that time either. The Timberwolves have gone 0-3 from the field to start the game. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. And so it's Paul bringing it up for Phoenix. Here's the pass to Booker. And the rejection by Town. A nice shot by Booker. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Vanderbilt the pass to Russell. To the inside. Shot from six. Vanderbilt misses. For Phoenix, they've gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. Oh, eight in position. Throws down the alley-oop slam. And the impressive reach of a lob it up his way, and he'll take care of the rest. Russell passes to Vanderbilt. 
kicks it to Beverly. Timberwolves passing it around. There's the Vanderbilt. Here's Edwards. And air balls the triple. That one was way off. Booker the pass to Johnson. Vicious to Ayton. Pass to Bridges. Here's Paul. Edwards defending. Just five on the clock. The 11-footer. And it's Phoenix scoring again. And creating a little separation here. Gaining some confidence. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Naz Reed, he's checked in for Towns. McDaniels comes in for Vanderbilt. Akogi's checked in for Edwards. And it's Beasley in for Russell. Here's Beasley. There's 154 left in the first quarter. Pass to Reed. Back to Beasley. Now here's Reed. Hits the three-point bomb. You know, Beasley not trying to do too much or get too cute there. Just um, finding the open man in a simple fashion. Well done. And the pass to Payne. Takes it inside. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. The Suns have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. good on that oh, probably a little draft in the arena tonight he's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that absolutely way. and the second free throw good and here in the first quarter with a little over three and a half minutes played now here's Beasley he's covered closely inside Reed gets the bucket. Reed's got five more. And, and once he got to the 10, I, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. Not there. McGee finds Craig. Missed inside. Timberwolves trailed by four. A Kobe, the pass to Beverly. 43 seconds left here in the first quarter. Back to Reed. Beasley for three. Comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. 
The Suns have gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. Pass to Payne. That's tipped. Well, Kogi's defense is top tier. He never stops working and causing problems at that end of the floor. Crowder against Beasley. Back to Beverly. It's over Payne. And we reach the end of the first quarter. The Suns on top, up by four. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. And with this younger team, it's got to be easier for Chris Paul to lead as that elder statesman. Yeah, at times in the past, veteran teammates didn't appreciate his constant input. Credit these younger guys, though, for soaking it in. And we welcome you back to Game 4 on 2K Sports. What stands out to you from the Suns in this one? What we saw in that first quarter, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, I agree. I mean, look at the energy, the effort defensively. They put it all out there in that opening quarter. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter to play on the court for Minnesota. Russell in the backcourt with Beasley to his side. Torian Grimms is out there with Carl Anthony Towns. And it's Edwards in at the three. And Booker looks to score and score often. When he's driving, never afraid of the contact. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Booker. An accurate shooter from all areas of the floor. Booker has the confidence needed to dominate on offense. And Phoenix making a change here. Johnson's checked in. And he makes both free throws. And Beasley has the ball here for the Timberwolves. They trail by six. He kicks it to Prince. He dishes it to Russell. Six on the shot clock. Towns against Ayton. Towns, no luck. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Pass to Ayton. Over Prince. Off target with the jump hook. For Minnesota, they've gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second quarter. Passes it to Towns. Over Johnson. That one off the back iron and out. Phoenix leading by six. Bridges kicks to Paul. And there's the pass to Book. Looking for eight, and he gets it in there. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. With just such strength on these finishes. When you foul Aiden, you really have to hit him to prevent the basket. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Vanderbilt's checked in for Prince. One shot. throw no good for Aiton. You know, so much hype around Aiton has that rare combination of NBA-ready body, productivity, and upside. Yes, that goes in. Nice job creating for the easy deuce. The Suns leading. Now here's Paul. Driving to the basket. Bridges, no one around him. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in pass first mindset of Paul when you leave somebody open on his squad he's going to make you pay for it here's Towns and the rejection by Eaton this is definitely a day he'd like to forget 
He just hasn't had the energy or the intensity to get it done out there. He's still scoreless. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Towns, that one misses. Some solid defense from Aiton. On the wing, Bridges. Back to Paul. For the three. And there's Bridges on the assist by Paul. Bridges has got the lead up to 12 now for Phoenix. Timberwolves on offense. And the Timberwolves call time here. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Naz Reed, he's checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. McDaniels comes in for Vanderbilt. Akogi's checked in for Malik Beasley. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Russell. And the Suns here with a different look. JaVale McGee's checked in for Aiton. Torrey Craig comes in for Johnson. Landry Shamit's checked in for Booker. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Chris Paul. So it's Minnesota now. A 12-point game. Read the pass to Edwards. And the three ball is good. Edwards got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. You know, Edwards is still tweaking his three-point shot, but it sure looked good there. Dang, looking around. Right for the hoop. Rebound by a Kogi. The Timberwolves have gone just two of eight shooting here in the second quarter. Over in the corner, Beverly. Reed kicks to McDaniels. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on JaVale McGee. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Free throw drops from McDaniel. Jay Crowder's checked in for Bridges. He hits both from the strike. Suns leading by seven. Payne passes to Craig. McGee with it. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Now, Craig, four on the clock, a three. Out of bounds, Minnesota takes possession. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. And now another look at that mobile one-block defensive performance. 
And this is postseason play at its finest, refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. Timberwolves shooting a rough 22% so far in this one. Pass to a Kogi. There's 42 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Beverly for three. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Now here's Payne, defended by Beverly. And he drives in. It's going to be out of bounds. The Suns will retain possession. And here are the Suns now. They've held a 12-point lead early. Payne passes to Shamit. Shot clock at five. Here's McGee. Reed with the rebound. McDaniels kicks to Edwards. Can't nail the jump. And so it's Phoenix bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Some great postseason action in the first half of play. A healthy lead has been built for the Phoenix Suns. We thought they might pull away by halftime, but that's not usually how the NBA works. Every game seems to be a battle. They've still got plenty of work to do. With that being said, I like the position they're in right now. Seeing how things are shaking down for the Timberwolves. This is a huge, and I mean huge in all caps, game for them. Came in as the underdog, but they could jump ahead to a commanding lead in the series. They've really shown in this series how much heart they play with, honey. This is a team that never slows down. Like you just did. But they can't change their approach, Ernie. You need to play with the same mentality that got them to this point. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll send you back to the second half. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. We've seen Mikel Bridges really having a great game. Yeah, and with all the pressure he must have felt coming into this one, it didn't phase him one bit. Fantastic start. Yeah, you know, I think he relishes the pressure, especially in a big game like this one. He really eats that stuff up. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. On the court for the Suns, Aiton is at the center with Johnson next to him. The star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there. And it's Bridges in at the small forward. Suns lead by seven. Booker outside. Towns with the steal. Also with it, Chris Paul covering. Here's Edwards. Rebound by the Suns. Yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he shot so poorly. Bridges finds Paul. Aiton a screen on Russell. And it's Paul penetrating. Here's Aiton. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got three assists in the game. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Russell outside Towns. Trains the three-pointer. Towns has got himself on the board with three there. How many 6'11 guys in this league can do that? Towns is a unicorn. Awesome ability to catch and let it fly. Now here's Paul. And good that time. He is almost money when it comes to finishing in close. Nice bucket there to increase the lead. Russell passes to Towns. 
Up top, Edwards. Defended by Bridges. The jump hook. Yep, it goes in, and the Suns' lead is cut down to just six points and the bucket from Carl Anthony Towns. Towns against Aiton. Doesn't go for him. So Minnesota will take it the other way. Over in the corner, Edwards. And Edwards with the stuff. And we all know how explosive Edwards can be, reminding us there with that thunderous slam. Ayton against Tom. Ayton gets the ball. Booker outside. Ayton sets the pick to Booker. Five on the clock. And that one's good, Ayton. Ayton's got four points in the quarter. Boy, he's been a rock of offensive support so far. And when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. And the Timberwolves call time here. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. A new lineup here for the Timberwolves. And for the Suns, JaVale McGee comes in for DeAndre Ayton. And Jake Crowder's subbed in for Cameron Johnson. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Tries to keep it alive. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Suns. The Suns making a switch here. Payne's checked in. Here's Booker. Kicks to Bridges. McGee is screen on Beast. Throws it up high. And he lays in the alley -oop. And the Suns lead by eight. Sweet find there by Booker. All eyes on him with the ball. And Devin understands that. That has a nice feel for giving up the rock. Now here's Reed. Five points in the game. Now here's Beverly. He's guarded closer. Shoots over McGee. Offensive rebound. It's Beasley on the wing, defended by Booker. Another miss by Minnesota. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. Now Payne, following the miss by Malik Beasley from deep. Bridges dishes to Trump. Just three to shoot over Beasley, and it's Phoenix scoring again. Tell you what, guys, the aggressiveness on defense just hasn't been there this half. Not like it was in the first. 
They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need the basket. A Kogi misses. Suns leading by 10. Pass to Booker. 46 seconds left here in the third quarter. Here's McGee. Good. A nice assist from Booker. Booker's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Passes to a Kogi. Back to Beverly. Prince setting a pick for Beverly. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Oh, I love the aggressive mindset Beverly has. I mean, that's really what makes him special. He's not afraid of getting bumped, especially when he's going to the bucket. The Timberwolves shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Man, I tell you, you really have to appreciate how much Beverly hustles. He plays hungry and with an edge. He's skilled, though, on both ends of the floor in addition to that. McDaniels, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Phoenix also making some changes. Torrey Craig comes in for JaVale McGee. And Landry Shamit subbed in for Devin Booker. Good on the second free throw. Suns leading by 11. And here's Payne. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's Phoenix holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. They've been playing some ferocious defense. We come back right after this. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed. And you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Yeah, platinum level dime drop in there, fellas. Accurate and on time. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. The backcourt guards are Russell and Edwards. Then there's McDaniels. Then it's Carl Anthony Towns. And it's Vanderbilt in at the four. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. The shot's good. Yeah, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. Towns sets the pick for Russell. Back to Towns. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Russell with it, and it's Johnson picking him up. Nine feet out, and the rejection by Eaton. And so it's Paul bringing it up for Phoenix. He kicks to Johnson. Over to the left wing. Ayton, the pass to Johnson. Bridges inside the three-point line. And it's Russell with the rebound. A little ambitious on that possession, trying to hit a shot in the face of that defensive pressure. The pass to Vanderbilt. Back to Russell. Towns, a screen on Crowder. Russell passes to Towns. And Towns throws it down. I can't emphasize enough what reading is all about. That's seeing the game in front of you, another way to put it. Russell making a great choice for the assist there. Johnson, wide open, he fires. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Johnson's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. I got yours, I got yours. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Vanderbilt the pass to Russell. A 
chalk up two there. Boy, you look at Russell repeatedly making plays around the rim. His imagination and creativity allow him to do so. It's Crowder on the wing. Fade away. Headshot off. And Minnesota will come the other way. McDaniels passes to Russell. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Chris Paul picks up that one. Despite the wiry frame, taking it up strong inside, and D'Angelo will get free throws. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring take breakdown break. for take the break. Suns. Guys, Two the shot. passing we've seen from them has been tremendous. Very unselfish. Yeah, but don't forget about their points in the paint because those have been big. And the first one drops. You know, D'Angelo Russell, to his credit, made the most of the move to Brooklyn. You know, he was dumped by the Lakers in 2017 in a trade to create cap space and ended up being selected to his first All-Star game in 19. Minnesota making a switch here. Beverly's checked in. And Phoenix also making a switch. Booker, he's checked in for Jay Crowder. Guys, a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, they definitely should use some clock here. Here's Paul. That's short off the rim. Timberwolves trail by eight. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Russell, no good. For Phoenix, they've gone two for five. Run field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Here's Paul. Minnesota with the rebound. Towns has got five rebounds tonight. Russell with it. He's picked up by Paul. Pass to Vanderbilt. Pass to Edwards. Let's the three fly. Rebound by the Suns. Bridges outside. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Shoots off the step back. And the rejection by Towns. Passes it to Russell. And he lays it straight in. Russell's got six here in this quarter. Taking the hit and still getting it to go down. Russell showing you some nice toughness there. Paul against Russell. Eight in the screen on Russell. To stop the drought. And the rejection by Town. Six to shoot. Back to Aiton. Tries again. The shot. No good. And Minnesota now the other way. Booker against Edwards. Over in the corner, Beverly. The kick out to Towns. It drops. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. And all of a sudden, that great run makes this a ball game again. And now is no time to take your foot off the gas. They have got to stay aggressive. I think they will. I mean, they're close enough to taste it. So they're going to keep that pressure on and keep coming at them. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. you got to try to extend the game. Sure. It's not over. Clock is as much a problem for them as the score is right now, so they've got to try to manage it. on the first and that gives them a four point cushion and so both free throws are good and it's a five point game and thanks to his good work at the line there now we have a two possession ball game
And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. I was able to listen in on what Chris Finch told the team. He told them, look, guys, we're running out of time. If we're going to make a move, it's got to be now. Are you guys ready to make a move? They all nodded, and he said, then go take it. Kevin? Okay, David, much appreciated. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Russell against Paul. Edwards passes to Russell. Rebounded by DeAndre. And so they foul intentionally. First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. So he gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. And the Timberwolves call time here. They're down by seven. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. So it's Phoenix picking up the win. This was a crucial game for him, tying up the series at two apiece, Greg. A, a huge accomplishment. In this series, I think hinged on who picked up game four, Kevin.